Hello everybody, welcome back to DD152, Daily Dictation 152. The new dictation will be quite difficult. It's about a dog rescuing a dog, so uh, good luck with the news story. But first, we need to go back to DD151, which was about science. And you guys did a great job. Let's listen again. What if every single person on Earth jumped at the exact same time? Could it cause an earthquake or would we not even be able to tell? Okay, let me read the answers. What if every single person on Earth jumped at the exact same time. Could it cause an earthquake? Or would we not even be able to tell? Okay, now this part was the most confusing. Uh, and also the, the ending here. This last sentence was tough. Let's go back to the top. What if every... Alright, now Remember the linking sounds. What if every? We don't say what tiff in American English. What if? Diff, diff. It's a D-I-F. What if every? What if every? What if every single person? What if everybody? But if we want to emphasize everybody, more emphasis, Every single person. I ate all the pizza. I ate every single piece of pizza. I said hi to everybody. I said hi to every single person. I responded to everybody on YouTube. I responded to every single person on YouTube. Do you understand? Good. What if every single person on Earth jumped at the exact same time? All right? So, now, some people want to capitalize Earth, E-A-R-T-H, with a big E, a capital E. But the rule is simple. In your sentence, if you have the earth and the sun, then capitalize it. If you have the earth and the moon, then capitalize it. The earth and Jupiter, then capitalize it. But if it's only the earth, you don't need to capitalize it, okay? So, we have a small e. What if every single person on Earth jumped at the exact same time? One, two, three. What would happen? What would happen? So, if we have to think would, or in this case, could. Could it cause? So, in this case, cause, we could change it to create. Could it create? An earthquake? Could it start? Yeah, we could maybe say start. Could it start an earthquake? Whoa, I wonder. Or would we, we, everybody, would we not even be able to tell? So this is just used for emphasis. You can get rid of this. Would we not be able to tell? So let's change this. I'll give you another sentence. I can't tell. I can't tell. What does I can't tell mean? It actually means I can't tell the difference. So I couldn't tell, we could also say, I, I didn't notice. Uh, I'll give you another color. I, can you see down here? I don't think you can see. Yeah, you can see this. I'll write it up here. No, you can't. Oh, no. I, 
uh, didn't notice, I didn't notice any change. Instead of change, we could say difference. I didn't notice any difference. I didn't notice any change. Bye bye, green marker. So would we not even be able to tell? Would it seem like nothing happened? So if everybody in the world, now how? How can we have everybody in the world jumping at the same time? How? The time differences, it's impossible. No, it's easy. If you brought everybody in the world, seven billion people, and brought them to one place, did you know that all the people in the world, every single person, could fit in Los Angeles County. That's right. In Los Angeles County, in California, if everybody stood like this, Hi, how are you doing? And there's somebody right in front, somebody right behind, we're like standing like, like soldiers. Everybody in the world could fit into Los Angeles. And then we use a big speaker. All right, everybody, on five, jump. One, two, three, four, five, boom, boom. Would we cause an earthquake? Yes or no? Yes or no? The answer is yes. Yes, we would cause an earthquake, but we wouldn't really notice. Now, according to Vsauce, he's the man who made the video, in London, they tried this. They had 50,000 people gathered, and they jumped, and it registered a very tiny earthquake. But nobody could feel it. If we had, now once again, I'll put the numbers here. We have 7 billion people. And if we multiplied that by 70, and everybody jumped at once, then we would have an earthquake equivalent to the one in Japan, the devastating, terrible earthquake in Japan. So yes, if everybody got together and jumped at one place, there would be an earthquake, but it would be really tiny. Okay? So I thought it was interesting science. Now, once again, what, what was amazing to me is the entire world population can fit into Los Angeles County. Isn't that amazing? But what about living? If we wanted to live somewhat comfortably, well, every single person in the world could live in the state of Texas and have space. It would be the same population density as New York City. So I thought that was surprising too, all right? Uh, anyway, science, physics, I'm very weak. I'm not that good, but I do enjoy learning a little bit. So if every single person on earth jumped at the same time, would it cause an earthquake? Yes, but it would be really tiny. We wouldn't really notice, okay? Now, about pronunciation. What if every single person on, now, I always tell you the American pronunciation is on, on. But if you listen carefully to Vsauce, he kind of says on, on, almost an A-W sound. Okay, yeah, that's, that's no problem. He's a native English speaker. But once again, I recommend on, on. And, and I don't know how to write it uh, except for the German umlaut, on, on. On, on. Is that okay? On. The sound I want, on, on. Every single person on earth. Every single person on earth. Keep this, keep the connection.
person on earth. Keep the connection. What if every single person on earth, one more time, one more, let's say it together, one, two, three, what if every single person on earth jumped at the, jumped at the exact same time? So at the exact, no, in America we say at the, at the exact same time. And this S is going to cancel the T. Exact same, nobody says that, exact same time. What if every single person on earth jumped at the exact same time? What if every single person on earth jumped at the exact same time? Could it cause an earthquake? Could it, could it cause an, cause an, could it cause an, 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 cause an earthquake? Could it cause an earthquake? Or would we not? Would we, would we, oh, WW, would we, would we, what the waddy waddy would we, would we, would we not? Would we not even, would we not even be able to tell? Be able to tell, to, it's going to be a short sound, to tell. Would we not even be able to tell? Would we not even be able to tell? Okay, now let's say it together, the whole thing from the beginning. Are you ready? One, two, three. What if every single person on earth jumped at the exact same time? Could it cause an earthquake? Or would we not even be able to tell? It's not easy. One more time, slowly, slowly. Here we go. One, two, three. What if every single person on earth jumped at the exact same time? Could it cause an earthquake? Or would we not even be able to tell? A little bit easier. Practice. Practice your speaking, okay? So many people missed this word. Ah, it's an easy word. Pronunciation. The reason you didn't hear it clearly is because the pronunciation is difficult. So you need to practice speaking. Speak loudly, okay? Now, in the future, very near future, I will do online classes live for free on YouTube, okay? So I will buy a web camera and I will buy a pen mouse and we'll try it. Maybe this week I'll have my first online lecture live for free and if you can join me please join me and uh, we can practice speaking together and I'll help answer your questions, okay? So, anyway, listen to this story two more times, then we go to DD-152. What if every single person on Earth jumped at the exact same time? Could it cause an earthquake or would we not even be able to tell? What if every single person on Earth jumped at the exact same time? Could it cause an earthquake or would we not even be able to tell? Okay, once again, starting hopefully at the end of this week, thanks to Yuka and Andre and to many of you, many other people, but especially Yuka in Japan and Andre in Russia, they have uh, helped me financially. They've bought me several coffees and I've saved some of that money. So this week I will buy a web camera, a high quality web camera and a pen mouse and I will try live classes on the internet. Okay? So to do the live classes you just need to come to my YouTube channel. It's easy. Just go to the channel, the main channel, and you can watch there, all right? And you can join too, but I'll tell you more information about that next time, all right? Okay, now, for Didi, thanks a lot, Yuka, and thanks a lot, Andre, and to everybody who has bought me a coffee. Thank you so much. 
Now, DD-152 is about a dog. So, this man and a woman were hiking in the mountains. And way high up in the mountains, there was a dog, and it was somebody's pet dog. It had a collar, but it was hurt. And it was skinny, and it was almost dead. Somebody lost the dog or left the dog. So this couple wanted to bring the dog down, but the dog was in too much pain. So the couple was really worried. They went online and were looking for people to help them rescue the dog. What happened? You need to do the dictation. It's a nice story. And sometimes we need nice stories. And if you like animals, you should like this story. But I know some of you do not like animals. Some of you do not like dogs. People need to be nice to each other. I agree. But it's also nice when we are nice to animals. So do the dictation. Good luck. And I'll say hello to our new subscribers after you do DD152. A search party of seven, mostly strangers, headed out. When they found Missy, she'd been marooned on the mountain for eight days. Her paws were all torn up and bloody. and She seemed crippled. It seemed like it was basically over. A search party of seven, mostly strangers, headed out. When they found Missy, she'd been marooned on the mountain for eight days. Her paws were all torn up and bloody. and She seemed crippled. It seemed like it was basically over. A search party of seven, mostly strangers, headed out. When they found Missy, she'd been marooned on the mountain for eight days. Her paws were all torn up and bloody. and She seemed crippled. It seemed like it was basically over. A search party of seven, mostly strangers, headed out. When they found Missy, she'd been marooned on the mountain for eight days. Her paws were all torn up and bloody. and She seemed crippled. It seemed like it was basically over. Hey everybody, we've got over 50 new subscribers again. Thank you so much. You guys really make me happy. Thanks for joining my channel. We have Andrea Villa, BR. I'm guessing BR might be Brazil. If Brazil, obrigado. Andrea Villa. Thank you very much. Great Bill 90. Great Bill 90. Great Bill. I have a bill in my classes here in South Korea. Are you that bill? Are you another bill? Is there a great bill? What about a greater bill? Maybe you are the great bill. Then we have Forever Luck I. Forever Lucky. Forever Lucky. Are you Forever Lucky? Oh, I'm jealous. If it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. It's an old song. Uh, we got more. Hold on a second. That was uh, Forever Lucky. Oops, wrong direction. And then I got to go down. Here we go. Kusaki, wow. Kusaki, wow. Kusaki, wow. Thank you, Kusaki, wow, for joining my channel. Voyager. Ah, V-O-Y-E-G-3-R. Okay, that's okay. Voyager. Are you a Voyager? Where do you like to voyage? Thank you for voyaging to Daily Dictation. Then we have Almaz Fark H. Almaz Fark H. Almaz Fark H. Thank you for joining my channel. N-W-Y Dict D. And new nudity, nudity. Hello, nudity. Welcome to my channel. Chopo Vika, Chopo Vika, Chopo Vika. Thank you for joining Daily Dictation. C E V A C U, Sebaku, Sebasu, Sebasu, Sebaku, Sebaku, Sebaku. Thank you for joining. 
O N L I F E love. On life love. Maybe one life love. On life love. On life love. Welcome to my channel. F L D J 288. Foolage. Foolage. F L D J. Foolage. Thank you for joining my channel. Fatma 190. Oh, 1991. Caddy. Fatma 1991. Caddy. Thank you for joining my channel, Fatma1991 Caddy. Soma Morsa. Soma Morsa. Soma. That's a nice name. I like that name. Soma. Soma. Welcome to the channel. Alex Zambrano. Alex Zambrano75. Alex Zambrano. Zambrano. That sounds cool too. Alex, thanks for joining my channel. We've got some more. Yes, we do. Radha Krishnan CK. Radha Krishnan CK. Radha, Rad, Radha Krishnan CK. Is my pronunciation okay? Thank you for joining. A Z N E G O U D. Azne good. Azne good. I hope my pronunciation is good. Thank you for joining. Azne good. Oren604, Oren, thank you for joining Daily Dictation, YY460, YY460, why, why not, thank you, Forster Wang Nara, Forster Wang Nara, Forster Wang Nara, Forster, cool, uh, I can't read this, Jane Gubskaya, is it Gubskaja or Gubskaya? Kaya, maybe Gubskaya. Jane Gubskaya. Jane, thank you for joining Daily Dictation. M I S J I H. Ms. J. Miss J. Miss J. I missed you. I missed you. Thanks for coming back. Victor Who 916. Victor, welcome to Daily Dictation. Dado Sorte. Dado Sorte. Dado Sorte. Dado Sorte. Thank you for joining Daily Dictation. Pathom, Pathom Chok, Pathom Chok, Sing Song Corn. It's a long name. Pathom Chok, Sing Song Corn. Pathom Chok, Sing Song Corn. Thank you very much for joining my channel. DRS 10301. Ders, Ders. Doctors? Ders. Ders10301. Thank you very much for joining. Franz Sinurat. Franz Sinurat. Franz. Hello, Franz. My name is Hans. My name is not Hans. But if my name, if your name is Franz, I would like to change my name to Hans. Then we can be Franz and Hans. Nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, Franz. After Franz, we got more. D u r e m a k. Durmak. Dear Mac, dear Mac, thank you for joining. Ms. Alice Mann, Ms. Alice Mann, thank you, man. No, no, no. Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Ms. Alice Mann, for joining my channel. Raviluga, Raviluga. I like the name Ravil Raviluga. Actually, my favorite Italian food is ravioli. Raviluga. Have you ever had ravioli? Yeah, it's delicious. Real Five McCoy. Are you the real McCoy? Yo, the real McCoy. Thank you for joining my channel. Dang Fan Dang Dang Fan Bang. Dang Fan Van. Dang Fan Dang Fan Van. I hope my pronunciation is okay. Kam Ung, thank you for joining. 1989-0301 BBS. Your birthday is March 1st, perhaps? Welcome to Daily Dictation. Romantic 280779. Romantic? Are you ro <clears throat> Are you ro Are you more romantic or is romantic shame more romantic? It's a tough decision, I know. <laughs> But I think romantic shame might be a little more romantic than you. No? Sorry. Just joking. 
uh, the Luis Nava Show. The Luis Nava Show. The Luis Nava Show. I'm gonna check. Hold on. I gotta. Check. I gotta click. The Luis Nava Show. Do you really have a show? The Luis Nava Show. The Luis Nava Show has no show. There's no show. <laughs> but I like it. The Luis Nava Show. Chunka, hold up, hold up, hold up. Mark it unread. There we go. Okay, the Luis Nava Show. Thank you very much. Marisol Faraz. Marisol Faraz. Marisol, thank you very much for joining my channel. J. Jamero. J. Jamero. 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 J. Jamero. Thank you very much. Chin So. Chin So. Thank you very much for joining Daily Dictation. Dolce Veronica. Veronique, 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 Dulce, Veronique, 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 I think it's Veronique, thank you very much for joining. Alex Shia 2, Alex Shia 2, who has Alex Shia 1? We must find him and take his ID. Leaders 06, Leaders 06, Leaders 06, are you Leader Zo? Hello Leader Zo, thank you for joining. Tuan An 5490. Tuan An 5490. Thank you for joining Daily Dictation. Magans. 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 Thank you very much for joining. City One Kurdmart. City One Kurdmart. City One Kurdmart. I like that name too. City One. That sounds like a nice name. Is it City One? City One Kurdmart. Thank you very much. And we're almost done. City One Kurdmart. Mad. Meow. Mad meow. Meow. Mad meow. Cool. Like Mad Max, but Mad Meow. Thank you. Jolene8198. There's a song. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Do you know that song? There is a song called Jolene. Welcome to the channel. Noria999. Noria. Are you from Korea? <laughs> no. Noria. Maybe not. Noria, thank you for joining my channel. Dasha, 2893. Dasha, 2893. Welcome to Daily Dictation, Dasha. 72 VOMR. 72 Vomer. Vomer. Welcome to my channel. Sexa Chow. Sexa Chow. Thank you very much for joining Daily Dictation. Giovz. G I O G O Z. Giovz. 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 Welcome to my channel. Kansa Hujin. Kansa Hujin. Kansa Hujin. Thank you very much for joining. And finally, the last person, Sergey Ivanov. One, one, one. Sergey Ivanov. One, one, one. I like the name Sergey. Sergey is a good name. Welcome to my channel. Sergey, I think I can say Spasiba. Let me check. Sergey, can I say Spasiba to Sergey? Sergey. From Ukraine, so I have to say, Spasibo. Sergei, Spasibo. Thank you very much for joining my channel. To everybody, I'm so happy you have become part of my family. Please share me. Use Facebook and Twitter. Tell your friends and have them join. And I'm, I'm so happy. And hopefully this week, I'll have a live class. I'll send a twit when I begin my live class lecture and uh, hopefully you'll be awake and you'll be online and you can join me. If I'm all alone, that would be very terrible. But that's okay. I'm home alone. I can be all alone. I don't mind being all alone. I feel all alone. I feel lonely. Please join me on Twitter. Yeah. I feel lonely. No, I'm okay. I'll see you next lesson, everybody. Bye-bye. This class was approved by T. Oh, I'm T.